Hey guys, Gizmodict here and today I'm going to show you how to install macOS Sierra Developer Preview on your Hackintosh PC. Before starting this tutorial, I would like to tell you that this is a beta version of the operating system so it might not be stable and you can encounter a lot of bugs. So please don't install it on your primary partition and use a secondary partition for installation. To install macOS Sierra, you need to have the Developer Preview installation file. Now, I can't give you the link to this file, but you can easily find out the DMG file with a quick Google search. Once you have the DMG file with you, open it and inside it you will find an install 10.12 developer preview app file. It is roughly around 5 GB, so copy and paste it into your applications folder. Now get a USB drive of at least 16 GB in storage and connect it to your PC. Go to Disk Utility and partition your USB stick to macOS Extended Journal. Once that is done, you need to open Terminal and type the code that you can see on the screen right now. Instead of USB name, you need to type the name that you gave to your USB drive while partitioning it. The partition that I created has the name Sierra, so I have written that. Now press Enter and enter your password. It won't be visible on the screen but keep typing it and press enter. Now the installation files will get copied onto your USB drive. This does take a lot of time and it can take anywhere between 15 to 30 minutes or even more depending upon your system. Once the copying is done, you will see your USB drive with a new name. Now you need to download a few files that are given in the description box. These include the Clover bootloader, the boot 64 EFI file, clover64.efi file and fake smc.kext. You need to have these exact files to have a successful installation. Once you have downloaded these files, open the clover bootloader folder and run the package file inside. Click continue and remember to change the install location to the USB drive that you created. Click on customize and select the UEFI mode installation. Also, select the two drivers from the driver menu below and now click on install. Once the bootloader is installed, you will be able to see a new EFI partition. Open it and now we need to copy those two .efi files here. Go to the clover folder and paste the clover64.efi file here. Go back and now navigate to the boot folder and paste the boot64.efi file here. Replace the old files that were already there in these folders. Now go to the clover folder and then go to the kext folder. Copy fake smc.kext that we downloaded into the other and 10.12 folder. Also copy your ethernet kext here. Now open the config.plist file using clover configurator and just make sure that inject kext option is selected. Your installation drive is ready now, so restart your PC and select the UEFI USB drive from the boot menu. Once you boot into clover bootloader, press the right arrow key until you can see an options menu at the bottom of the screen. Press enter and inside boot flags write rootless equal to 0, kext dash dev dash mode equal to 1 and dash v. Now select your installation drive from the options and press enter. Now you will see a lot of commands appearing on the screen and you will find that your hackintosh will get stuck at one of the iCloud or find my device message as you can see on the screen right now. Don't worry because this is a known error and it does not necessarily mean that your system has hanged. You need to wait for around 10 to 15 minutes and the installation should proceed ahead. Once you have successfully booted, you will get a few options to choose from. Select Open Disk Utility option. The installation interface is a bit laggy so you need to be very patient. Once inside Disk Utility, find the drive that you want to install your operating system on and partition it. I am installing it on my 240GB Kingston SSD and I will name it 10.12. Once the partition is created, erase it using the erase option. Make sure that the format is macOS 10 extended journaled. 
Once the partition has been erased, come back to the main menu and select Install OS X. Agree to all the terms and conditions and license agreements and select the drive that you recently erased for installation. The installation will roughly take around 10 minutes to complete. Once installed, the PC will reboot on its own. So again, select your USB drive from the boot option, go to the options inside the Clover bootloader and type those two kernel flags again. But this time, on the main menu, select the Hackintosh partition that you created which is 10.12 in my case. Do remember that you don't have to select the USB drive partition but you need to select the Hackintosh partition on which you have installed your operating system. Press enter and let it do its thing. The boot up times are quite slow because this is a developer preview. Upon bypassing the loading screen, the installer will install a few things again and this roughly takes around 10 to 15 minutes. Once the install is done, the PC will reboot. Again boot from your USB, write down the two boot flags and select the 10.12 partition again. You can use the dash V flag here to find out where your system is hanging if it does but I'm going to continue without using it. If all goes well, you will be able to see the welcome screen of Mac OS Sierra. Do note that the boot up did take quite a while, so you need to be very patient. Set up your operating system by entering your user ID and some other details. Congratulations, you just installed the developer preview of Mac OS Sierra on your Hackintosh PC. Now as you can see, I have successfully set up my system and if I go into about this Mac, you can see that I am running macOS Sierra version 10.12 beta. Like I said earlier, this is a developer preview so make sure that you don't install it on your primary partition. After you have successfully set up your operating system, you need to copy the Clover bootloader to your Sierra partition so that you don't have to use the USB drive always while booting. Install Clover bootloader the same way like we did earlier but this time select your Sierra partition as the destination. Do remember to copy your kernel extensions as well as the 2.efi files to the EFI partition of the newly created drive. You can also install your audio and some other kernel extensions via the kext utility which I will be linking in the video's description. My system is completely working now and I can use all the things like the Mac App Store, Siri, etc. I haven't tried FaceTime or iMessage yet but I will do that soon. I hope this video has helped you out in installing macOS Sierra on your Hackintosh PC. All the important links are in the description box and please let me know your doubts and questions in the comments. Do like this video if it helped you out and please subscribe for more Hackintosh content. Follow me on my social media pages for more Hackintosh updates. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.